he is. No, oh, man. Thought he was bigger. Thought he was a little bigger. <clears throat> hey guys, smallmouth crush. I think we're gonna talk about blade baits today. If all goes well, it's early. Early and cold. I don't want to touch him. Ooh, it's chilly out. I'm all strikered up. And we just caught a little guy. We'll find some bigger ones. It's all coming up. Got off. So I'm just lifting this blade bait, maybe eight inches to a foot, just a little snap and let it fall, slack line. And then when you go to lift up, you'll have a fish. I, there he is. Oh, I missed him. So you're gonna miss some too. He was right underneath the boat. I can see about six of them right here. I don't feel my blade vibrating, so I think he got, yeah. So sometimes your line's gonna get stuck in the hook. And uh, when I miss that fish, that's what happened. We may have to go through some numbers today in order to get some big ones. At least that's what I'm thinking. Water temps are 51 right now. But this is this was a pretty cold night. Here they come. Oh, what are you doing, bud? There we go. That's not bad. Once it's on the bottom, I just lift up, let it fall. Sometimes you can let it sit there for a little bit. They'll actually come and just grab it off the bottom. Literally a hunk of metal sitting on the bottom. There, I landed right on one. Just a little vibration lifting letting it fall it does help to have a really good sensitive rod uh, the rod i'm using is the st croix legend x this is a 7-1 this is the medium heavy extra fast i have 14 pound fluorocarbon line and i'm using a half ounce blade bait and so that's why i went with this medium heavy rod i've experimented I'll use like a St. Croix Legend Extreme in a medium. That works fine. Especially if I was going with a lighter blade bait if I was up shallower on it. Right about there. Oh, I'm going to land right on it. There. I should get a bite now. Look at this guy coming in. He's going to crush it. There he is. That's a good one. Ah, I missed them. That's gonna happen sometimes, blade baiting. Just part of it. So here I am just on a deeper flat and there's some boulders. They are relating to boulders at times, but also just vast nothingness. And we have a little bit of breeze. And so whenever I'm using my live scope to look for fish, I have it set at 70 feet. And I like to point my boat into the wind is it just makes it easier for me to make an accurate presentation to that fish 
and stay on that fish also. There's a few fish right out here. Okay, so don't be afraid to change things up if you have to. This is a Demiki blade. My buddy Jack, Jack B, um, introduced me to these. The other day we caught some good ones on it. But I had silver, and silver might be a better choice when the sun gets a little higher. I'm going to go with a gold and try that. Only because I've dropped on quite a few fish, and they're not really hitting it as, as well as I hoped. Don't be afraid to change things up. There he is. That one choked that gold blade really good. Really good. Maybe we're on to something. I'm going to say it was a good call to switch colors. Oh man, that's a good one. That's a really good one there. The color change, the color change did it. Whew. There. They like the gold right now, and I'm okay with that. Come on. Well, maybe they are good sized ones. Wow, that one fooled me. They looked really small on the, uh, on the graph. But I am in 30 feet of water, so I get it. He's hooked. There. Man. That's a fat, fat fish. Got him. Same school, just a smaller, smaller size fish compared to that last one. Oh, shoot. Got off.
Oh, he bit. You can tell they get pretty, when they decide to bite, they get really swirly on the graph here. Another good one. Man, I got some heavy weight already on this. Pretty good bag today. Popped off in my hand. Get back down there. Definitely fell into a group right there. Well, we're going to wrap this video up, I think. Damiki blade bait. Here we go. We should get clobbered. That blade is going to get bit right here. I can see a bunch of them just staring at them. Pig. Wow. comes one tight to the bottom but he's coming right at it there he goes ah, that's a big in another big in whoo Jesus, how many fish are there, bud? A lot. This is a massive school here. I see like 30 of them on my screen. There he is. Are they all that size? I hope not. Let's get it back in there. What are we gonna do about that massive school of fish? Oh, 60 feet. I tried 
<laughs> I tried. I tried. Oh, you are a fatty. Whew. Okay. We're going to wrap this video up. I got to get home, unfortunately. I'll be back in a week. I know I'm leaving biting fish, but it is what it is. I'm going to put a link to some of my favorite blade baits. Not only the Damiki, but there's a bunch of good ones out there. Binsky, the original Silver Buddy, Bass Pro Shops makes a good one. Just got to find one that works for you, that you're comfortable with, that you have confidence in. Get out here and give them a try. Listen, it doesn't matter. Springtime, fall, great times, colder water temps. But it does work well in the summer months too. If you haven't tried throwing a blade for smallmouth, I encourage you to give it a try. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Leave any likes and comments. Let me know what your favorite blade bait is. Oh, I got to go but I can't with all these fish down here. Hmm. And as always, until next time, we'll see you guys on the water.